Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a P.O. positive or that P. Today's contribution is for Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's a positive this time, Jack. My cat, Mortimer, was feeling ill, but thanks to Bert Mackey, he's in great condition again. That's fantastic news, Mildred. Now let's see if it will keep raining cats and dogs. I'm happy to say it will be dry later on with a bit of sunshine. Back to the playlist. Left the package in the truck. I didn't bring the package. heavier than I thought. Here's the mail, ma'am. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my blade already. Sounds like a headache indeed. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Oh, thanks, but I'm afraid I don't have time for that either. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. Have a nice day, ma'am.
Hi, Kay. Delivery for the diner. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day... What about it? Why were you upset to see me? I don't know. Maybe because you never replied, even though I wrote and called you? We're talking to each other now, right? Let's resolve this. Yeah. So. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. So much has happened. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Marino always say about that again? One day you realize... It's, it's marching, marching across, across your across face! Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good. To talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. If your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? I'm a 
afraid it would need a stamp first. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't have them here. You know what? I'll make an exception for you. Thank you so much. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. package in the truck. Hi, Lori. Got some mail for you today. Oh, why, Miss W? Uh, yeah, thanks. Something on your mind? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? You seem out of it. It's just, Angie came by with a movie box and a couple of movies to watch. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh, did she? I'm not surprised. And you're having trouble picking? Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll drown me for a week. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Ah, oh, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Well, I'm sure you'll like it too. You'll get to see a nightmare on Elm Street one day. I guess so. Thanks, Miss W. Have a nice day. You too, Lori.
I'm calling it a day. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Hey, uh, I'm calling about the priority mail. Uh, didn't receive it. Uh, any idea what's going on? Oh, snap. I'm so sorry. I forgot all about it. You? Forgetting something? D did hell just freeze over? It must be the change of setting. Life here is so different. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, well, don't worry about it, Meredith. I'm sure you'll be the normal and awesome Meredith again soon. And I, I really need you. We're super close to signing a monster deal. Monster deal? Sounds awesome. Yes, super awesome. I'll keep you posted. Get it? <laughs> okay, uh, bye. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. <laughs> 